thing not to burn my phone up this flame is so awesome I definitely like this better than the propane modification very cool the acetone flame I've been doing some soldering here with this thing and I am impressed with how quickly it heats copper up I do think there is some kind of weird copper acetone reaction going I don't know but anyway it, it was able to quickly and easily heat this piece up no problem and I'm now going to solder these vents closed this is a blower that came off of a small wet vac that I am repurposing cost 20 bucks for the vacuum cleaner I tore that sucker apart but uh, I just wanted to get a another clip of this thing because I am loving this acetone bubbler I want to thank my friend Daniel C for uh, sharing the idea this is just a 5 amps AC about 300 watts to get that flame not bad not bad at all it has some pretty beautiful colors to it anyway so there it is just wanted to share that like if this was an HHO flame alone, I would not be able to touch the actual solder surface at all with the flame. That is a little sloppy there, but you get the point. And uh, one more trick I wanted to show you. That if you uh, take a spray bottle while your flux and your material is still hot, and you spray it with water it'll wash all of that acid core flux right off how oh, well it did work on that one section though when it was still hot I guess the most important point of this binding is that this acetone flame appears to be extremely unreactive or inert with the work surface involved with both soldering and brazing had I just performed the procedure we've seen with the uh, oxyhydrogen torch alone, the solder would not have adhered to the areas that were actually touched by the flame itself. Propane gas modification works a little bit better, but it still has some of the same issues. It can scorch the area. But this flame is just one of the most unforgiving flames I've ever used. It's, things just flow so nice. I, don't, I wish I wouldn't have waited this long to try it. For anyone who's unfamiliar with the oxyhydrogen torches or HHO torches as some of them call it, that is how I'm producing this acetone flame. This isn't just pure acetone. I was kind of unclear in some of the videos about that, but um, basically this canister is about that full of acetone. I don't know if you can see that level line there. And there is a small micro screen and a air stone type action inside that bubbles the oxyhydrogen gas through the acetone that is then connected to this torch from this line right here on the top. Unfortunately, it appears the acetone is dissolving my rubber hose. So I'm going to have to change this hose out. I've already had to do a Navy SEAL crimp on that bad boy. This, by the way, is a very effective way of clamping hoses. If you're ever out in the field or out on a job site and you lose your pneumatics, this is better than a hose clamp. It will cut your arm off, but you got to bend it over better than I did. But... Just on a side note, very effective sealant. So anyway, 
that's how this thing is working. This is not just an acetone flame. It is in fact hydrogen gas and oxygen gas generated from electrolysis being infused with acetone. So that is how I was creating the acetone flame. 